working in Wendy's, or balling in Bahamas. It depends on one simple click of a button. What's the probability of either one's happening? The truth lay beneath us all along, in gibberish that we never understood. So here I present 8Vision, the Robin is supercharger that explains what those numbers imply. You can simply open it up in an option of your choice. The first three sections are about the underlying stock. It has its live price data, live news update, and the probability spread of the underlying stock. The probability spread shows probability of the underlying stock's movement by the expiration date according to the implied volatility. This could be useful when you choose the strike price of an option. Before moving on to the most important section, we have to understand what implied volatility is. To find out how volatile a stock is, first find the mean stock price in certain time frame. Then calculate the differences between the each data value and the mean, which are the deviations. Square the deviations, get the average of them, then square root it to get the standard deviation. To annualize this volatility, we multiply the standard deviation by the square root of the number of trading days in a year, typically 252. What the volatility means is, on average, the stock is moved by standard deviation every day for the period of time. For example, if SPY's annual volatility is 60%, we can say that on average, SPY has moved 3.77% every day for one year because 60 divided by square root of 252 is 3.77. When we calculate the price of an option, we input multiple variables, including the volatility into the Black-Scholes model, which spits out the realized options price. However, the actual options price is decided by the supply and demand of the market. So what we do is we input call options price with the other variables to get the implied volatility. With implied volatility, we can tell what the options price is projecting the future movement of the underlying stock until the expiration. If the actual volatility turns out to be lower than the implied volatility, that means that the current option price is overvalued. Now let's look at the 8 vision again. This is what I expect from you to visualize in your head when you look at the data. For options are underlying stock and expiration date, this is the implied daily movement. An implied move is the range of possible stock movement by the expiration date. Now there are three historical volatilities. Annual historical volatility shows underlying stock's volatility for the past year. 30-day volatility shows recent 30 days volatility. And DTHV shows the volatility of the same length till expiration. Now, prob in the money is probability of the underlying stock going over the strike price by the expiration date. And prop breaking even is probability of you making profit when the option expires. Now, let's look at the option price itself. Assuming that the underlying price is the same, the option depreciates in value every day by theta. So when you go to bed and wake up the next morning, the money is just gone. And what's the probability that you'll make that lost money back tomorrow? That's the prop bouncing back. Now the last chart shows daily probability spread after getting slapped with theta decay. Next part is the graphs for Greeks. Two 2D graphs for call and put options and one 3D graph for call options. It has IV, Delta, Gamma, Theta, Vega, and Open Interest, each line representing one expiration date. X-axis is the strike prices, and Y-axis is the percentage for each value. I'll do a separate video on how to interpret these graphs, including the volatility surface. Now, whatever kind of options trader you are, the most important indicator for success is the underlying itself. So I have included the stock data and its balance sheets and also the news and same graphs. But I have added one more thing, which is the list of similar companies with key metrics and annual performance comparison chart. Thank you for watching and good luck with your investments.